Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today we finally have our first look at the Spider-Man Far From Home movie with the trailer debuting today. Um, now I do have a bit of a, 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 a bit of a complicated history with the Spider-Man character. I mean, in my list of top um, comic book superheroes, Spider-Man ranks number two. So um, and, and and while I love a lot of what Marvel has done with the MCU so far. This character happens to be one of those where I'm not completely in, in terms of some of the creative choices they've made. Um, for, I mean, for me, the, you know, what happened to Uncle Ben and, and the, the, that line that he left with Peter with great power comes great responsibility, a line which I don't believe has even been said in, in, in the Spider-Man in any of the films that he's been in. But for me, that embodies the character and gave him purpose. And uh, that purpose seems to have shifted you know, away from Uncle Ben and to Tony Stark but for me the Tony Stark um, relationship appears to be more like a, a celebrity thing um, where he idolizes him because he's this 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 celeb this big celebrity right and and just for me that doesn't embody the character very well I, I'm still open I did enjoy the last film uh, for the most part um, so I, I'm open to you know to see what they do with the character he, aside from Batman, he has one of the most interesting rose galleries of any um, comic book heroes. Um, and, and a lot of those I do still want to see on screen. We've not gotten Mysterio on screen before. So this is a first, and, and so that's something I'm looking forward to. Um, a lot of the, the iconic outfits that we know for Spider-Man, um, uh, we, we saw the Iron Spider um, suit in Endgame, right? So um, a lot, there, there's still a lot of things for me that I do enjoy in it. Um, but as Peter Parker himself, I, I'm still not one completely won over. Um, I'm hoping that this film will do that for me. All right, so let's get into it. The Spider-Man Far From Home trailer is about to play, okay, but so if you haven't seen warning. Avengers Endgame yet, stop watching. But I mean, there's uh, some serious spoilers the moment we come. heard that this but was greenlit, Far From Home was greenlit, we kind of figured that he survived because it would have Everywhere to be post-Endgame. Really miss him. Yeah, I miss him too. I don't think Tony would have done what he did if he didn't know that you were going to be here after he was gone. And still we're in the Iron Spider outfit. You gonna be the next Iron Man now? Well, no, I don't have time. I'm too busy doing your job. Oh. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Look, keep up the good work. Because I am going on vacation. Vacation interrupted. Heads up. Nick Fury's calling you. I don't really want to talk to Nick Answer Fury. The phone. Why? Because if you don't talk to him, then I have to talk to him. I don't want to talk to him. You sent Nick Fury to voicemail? I gotta go. You do not ghost Nick Fury. Up, He'll find you. What's up? We're just talking about the trip. I'm here in St. Marco Polo's. Oh, I think MJ really likes me. Very Jane. When I first fell in love. You're a very difficult yep. person to contact, Spider-Man. Is he, though? This is Mr. Beck. We could use someone like you on my world. Serious. The world Beck is from Earth, just not ours. The snap to our hole in our dimension. Okay, so they're going multiple universes like DC's multiverse. You have a job to do, and you're coming with us. There's got to be someone else you can use. What about Thor? It's like Off a boy. That, that golem reminded me so much of Sandman. It would be crazy if I actually ended up introducing him like this. Bitch, please, you've been to space. What do you want, Peter? I want to go back on my mm. trip with the girl who I really like and tell her how I feel. MJ, I am Spider-Man. No, of course I'm not. I mean, it's kind of obvious. You're right, you may not be ready, but this is my responsibility. Saving the world requires sacrifice. Sometimes people die. Interesting choice of a mysterious. Oh my God. I just always feel like I'm putting my friends in danger. Yeah. The world needs the next Iron Man. Great power comes great you responsibility. You going to step up or not? Ah. I love that suit. We got the old team. No. I gotta get you guys out of here. Get on the jet. Who are you? I work with Spider-Man. You work for Spider-Man? I work with Spider-Man, not for Spider-Man. New plan. It's like you work with Iron Man. 
All right, so uh, the, the trailer, I, I, I love the trailer. Um, first off, I, I mean, they're gonna be like using Nick Fury in every other movie that comes out. I mean, Tony Iron Man is no longer there, and he he made his appearance, a lot of appearances in other movies. Uh, it, it seems that has gonna pass on to Nick Fury. Um, so I suspect, we're, I suspect we're gonna be seeing him a lot. And they seem to be building Spider-Man up to be the replacement for Iron Man, right? Which is uh, it's interesting. I mean, he's I mean he's a lot younger, um, so, for, so I don't imagine that's going to be an immediate thing. But they are eventually going to have to build a new Avengers team, and I, I imagine that eventually he will, if not immediately, um, come to be one of the leaders of um, that team, right? <coughs> the the they they've chosen to go the multiverse route, you know, similar to DC's multiverse, where um, different characters uh, or the same people exist, but um, some with slight differences from how they are in our world. And uh, I'm wondering if that uh, I mean if that's related to the choices that they made for Mysterio, because Mysterio is t um, typically a an illusionist, right? He was a magician, and he uses. Um, he uses the tools that he used for like his stage shows to um to to create illusions and misdirects um um to to um, to kind of confuse his enemies right to pull off heist and and and, and criminal activities and stuff like that <clears throat> but here in the trailer he he appears to be using actual magic right so uh, I, I don't know if it's a, a case where in in his um on his earth that mysterio actually has um has ability that actually has magic but the one on peter's earth doesn't right it could be a situation like that or um it could very well be that um, i don't imagine it's going to be as straightforward as i'm here to help you with this threat it may very well be that he's the one who is the threat and these things are actually trying to stop him and that would be in true mysterio fashion he, he's good at deceiving people right and so it could be just be a misdirect it's like look at me here while i'm doing something else in the background there right um and it could be that that is in fact what he's doing and all of this is just a show for spider-man to distract him from um his true actually his true agenda right so they could go either way i, I would prefer if they went the illusionist route um if you wanted to stay true to the character because for me that makes him a bit more uh, it makes him a bit more layered because he doesn't have abilities. Mr. doesn't have any abilities, but uh, in some somehow he still manages to go toe to toe with Peter, um, in in some ways. Um, it's, it becomes more of a, a mental battle than anything else, right? Um, so I would prefer to go that route rather than going the um, I'm 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 a magic user route. Um, it's not very interesting to be honest. So I prefer if they go the illusion route. Um, so I mean, we got some glimpses of the the different um, suits that he's going to be wearing, and as I've said before, I absolutely love his suits, right? So I, and this is the first time we've, we would have, we will get to see these on the big screen, um, so that's definitely something that will get me going in to actually watch uh, to watch the movie, and as I've said, um, Spider Man has, outside of Batman, has one of the most interesting rose galleries. Um, I mentioned before that I do hope that they maybe not do what the Amazing Spider-Man did and try to shove heroes, too many villains in the movie, but at the end uh, maybe have an appearance from maybe Sandman or Doc Ock. Uh, I know there was so there were some rumors going around about Kraven the Hunter, a movie, or or him making an appearance in this movie. I think. Um, or the next, right? Um, so those would be two of my picks for the next film, either Craven the Hunter or um, Doctor Octopus, right? Those are two characters that we've we've never we've never actually seen on the big screen. So it'd be quite interesting to see um, to see how Spider Man deals with um, with those threats, right? Uh, so I uh, absolutely love the trailer. Definitely going to be checking the movie out. Be sure to post on the comments. Let me know what your thoughts are on the trailer and. Who is your favorite Spider-Man villain? Right. Um, be sure to hit like or subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.